Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Skin. And I was not anticipating seeing this film this weekend. I saw an IMD I know, um, box office mojo saying, Skin's going to be releasing in two screens this weekend. And then I see it at AMC Cherry Hill, I'm like, what? One time, 12.50, every day, in the afternoon, I'm like, need to check this out. And I did, and damn, this is a powerful film. This film very much like along the lines of like Black Klansman and American History X, a little more American History X, of dealing with this man who's trying to get out of this neo-Nazi skinhead modern Viking community that he's a part of. And one of the things I can say it's extremely interesting is how deep this film dives into this community. You really get to see nooks and crannies of it, and also, obviously, the overt, dark, and horrible things about this hate, but also some of the interesting things in terms of little ways how they're able to get these young men to join this community. And honestly, the abuse that they experience, and it's something that's pretty disturbing on even more of a level than the overt disturbing things that they do, the race riots, the protests, and this film really digs into that, and I, could have, I appreciated that a lot about this film. But obviously the big focal point of this film is Jamie Bell's character, and Jamie Bell does an amazing job in this film playing this man and Guy Nativ or Guy Nativ, not sure how to pronounce his name, a writer and director, really creates a a hard to watch experience because how tense this film can be. The anger is captured so well, the violence, there's particular scenes because one of the big things is Jamie Bell's character is covered in tattoos and he wants to get rid of them and the process of removing tattoos and how they portray those scenes are really powerful and hard to watch. And like this is a very powerful film in many different ways. I can say that the film's pretty predictable. It's you can see where this film is going. And it's very violent. It's very it's angry. There's a lot of anger in this film and that's a theme of the film and even Mike Coulter's character who's this man who's working to really help some of these men in these white supremacist organizations and communities escape and how to deal with that hate and how to focus that hate and this story is an important story and it's significant and it's hard to watch that's one thing I could definitely say. This is a hard to watch film. This will drain you, it will take a lot out of you. The performances are great, whether it's from Jamie Bell or Danielle McDonald, who plays his love interest, who has these kids, three daughters, and watching her be a powerful mother and trying to, and like really sticking up for her kids, but that vulnerability of being in love with this man who has all this baggage is really hard to watch. Bill Cam plays the leader of this community and he's intense and intimidating and scary. Vera Farmiga, who I didn't even realize was in this movie, she... there it's there's a level of manipulation in her character and how she convinces these young men to join this community that's underlyingly sexual and there's parts where it's really hard to watch what she does to these young men. And then there's parts where it's like she does care so much about our main character. And there's moments where that and it's complex. This film's complex. It's not just shown in black and white either. And that's something I really appreciate about this film. It's really well shot. There are some parts where it gets really shaky cam with the handheld camera when there's some aggressive moments going on and it's hard to decipher what's going on and that's why I'm not going to get into that whole argument but that took me out of the movie a couple of times but it is decently predictable and such a cute dog and cute little kids and it's like you care about them 
And you really want to see what happens to this man and if he's able to actually get through this journey and come out okay in some shape or form on the other side. And it doesn't portray this film as something where it's like, oh my god, he's purely good again. Yay! It's like, there's going to be baggage, there's going to be thoughts, and that's the complexity of life. And this film really captures that. I think this is a really special film. When this actually starts spreading out, highly recommend it. But if you have problems with violence and tension, because there's leaps and like tons of tension in this film, and it's going to be hard for you to sit down and sit through like that white knuckling it, this might, film might be a little too much for you. But it's an important story, it's a significant story, and I highly recommend it. Comment, let me know what you think, and thank you as always for supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.